narcissist wants to ruin your Christmas. They might start an argument or disagreement with you a few days before Christmas or actually on Christmas Day. They will treat you with disrespect or as though you are beneath their consideration. Narcissists are self-absorbed. They are only focused on their own needs. They only care about what you can do for them or how the situation can work in their favour. They lack empathy. They don't care about what you want or how you feel. They want everything to revolve around them. They want to be the center of attention. When people are focused on someone or something else, they can't be the center of attention, which causes them to cause some kind of drama so that people will focus on them and give them the attention that they need. They don't care about how their desperate need for attention affects you. They will treat you with disrespect just so they can get some attention. They have no empathy or consideration for you. And that is why they don't care that they are hurting you or making you feel uncomfortable. They don't care about what you want or how you feel. All they care about is what they want regardless of how it affects you. On Christmas Day, people are usually focused on each other, rather than being focused on the narcissist. This leaves the narcissist without any attention. The narcissist hates this feeling and they will do whatever it takes to get attention. Even if that involves causing arguments or disagreements, treating people with disrespect. They lack empathy, so they don't care about who they hurt in the process of getting what they want. They don't care about who they hurt in the process of getting the attention that they need. The narcissist is never happy. They are never satisfied. But on Christmas, they will often exaggerate their feelings of being angry or sad so that people will then attend to them. People will then try to do whatever they can to make them happy, not realizing that the narcissist cannot be satisfied. And they are just exaggerating these emotions so that people will attend to them and give them the attention that they are looking for. The narcissist will even try to make you believe that you are responsible for their anger or sadness. They will try to make you believe that you are the reason why they feel that way. They want you to do what they want when they want you to do it. They want you to feel on edge whenever they appear to be feeling upset. All they really care about is attention. And if they cannot get you to attend to them in a positive way, they will try to get the attention in a negative way. They don't really care about whether it's positive or negative attention. Whichever one works, whichever one gets some kind of action or response out of you. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. 
They only care about their own feelings. They only care about what they want. And just because it's Christmas, it doesn't mean that any of that is going to change. It doesn't mean that they're suddenly going to have any compassion for you. Narcissists are always going to be narcissists. You might see the false self, the false kind caring personality in the beginning, but that's only designed to lure you into, into the situation or environment. That's only designed to secure you so that the games can begin. It isn't meant to do anything more than that. It is only designed to trick or deceive you, to give you a mistaken impression to make you believe something that is not true for their personal gain. And once the opportunity arises for them to exploit you, for them to make full use of and derive benefit from you, you won't even see the false self at that point. Because now they have already secured you within the situational environment and they are able to get whatever they want from you. Everything the narcissist does is designed to get them what they want. If you are going to be around narcissistic family members and friends over Christmas, you cannot go no contact. But you can go limited contact. You can use the grey rock technique. They want to get your attention. They want to make you anxious or stressed out. But instead of doing that, instead of reacting emotionally, just respond calmly with a smile. Observe without absorbing. Stay grounded in your own reality instead of getting sucked into theirs. If you don't give them an emotional reaction, they might leave you alone. Or they will try a different tactic. If they can't get anything out of you negatively, they might just try to impress you instead. And while it might be over-exaggerated, it is certainly better than being treated with disrespect. So avoid reacting to any disrespectful behaviour. And instead, give the narcissist their moment to shine. Give them their opportunity to impress you. It gives them the attention that they need. And at the same time, you get to avoid being disrespected. You get to avoid any arguments or disagreements. But do be cautious. When the narcissist gets bored of being in the spotlight, the positive attention is no longer a stimulating for them and then they may resort to negative behaviours to get more stimulating reactions from you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.